Hebe in the compet competing order. So, Daniel, please. Thank you. So, just let me see if this is the point, the pointer. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Okay, I have to control my time because I have only 15 minutes. So good morning, everyone. So my name is uh, Daniel Reyes from the Instituto Militar de Ingeniería in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, at first, I would like to thank the organizer for giving me the opportunity to share my work. So uh, this work is about the, the about this issue, the Charlie City Wave, uh, the relationship between Charlie City Wave and superconductivity. So, uh, so let me. Okay, so this is my uh, collaborator. Here is uh, Ney Lopez from the. I think it's not working. Okay, from the Rio. This is uh, Nathaniel. Is here. This good. Uh, this is Christopher Thomas from the Universidad Federal of Rio Grande do Sul. And this is Professor uh, Museo Continentino from the CBPF in Rio de Janeiro as well. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, basically I will talk about uh, some results. They are published basically in this paper here, in this, uh, in the last year. And the other results is in this archive this, uh, this year. So uh, basically we uh, work, we, uh, we get uh, some results about the uh, commensurate and incommensurate CD double and superconductivity, right? This is in this paper, so. Okay, this is the overview of my talk. Uh, first, I want to talk about the experimental motivation for doing this work. So, mainly about this uh, transition metal decalcogenide that Nathaniel already talked a little bit, yes. And then I want to talk some previous uh, theoretical work in this direction. Then I'm going to talk uh, about the Hamiltonian and formalis, and finally the results and, conclu and conclusions. Okay, uh, sorry, okay. So the experimental motivation, basically, I said before, is the, this compound, this uh, TM, this compound. You can see here from this uh, experimental data, this is from these papers, I mean, for this compound, uh, titanium selenium 2, doped with Coopers. Uh, we can see a uh, phase diagram, you know, this is a uh, interplay between charge density wave and superconductivity. And uh, this is, uh, this phase diagram is uh, as a function maybe of, of hydrostatic pressure or even uh, as a function of intercalation, or intercalation of Cooper atoms. So the two important points here uh, we must remark, this is the following. This charge density wave uh, from the experimental uh, conclusion is a kind of commensurate charge density waves. I mean, means, uh, for instance, in two dimension, we, the, 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 the wave vector modulation is in pi pi, okay? And the, another important point uh, is that uh, the superconducting dome can be explained by the, uh, in, the, in the framework of the BCS theory, right? Okay, this was seen 2009. Uh, later on, so, uh, sorry, okay, thank you. In 2016 was reported this experimental uh, phase diagram. Now it's the same compound, you know, you can see here, the same compound, okay. Uh, we have here uh, this commensurate charge density wave. Uh, before, this dome, superconductivity, but between these uh, phases, there is appear an uh, incommensurate charge density wave. Okay, so uh, here, uh, the question that we want to answer, okay, maybe in, the, our, in our world, is uh, how is the interplay between these phases? So they coexist, they compare, how can interact this incommensurate charge density wave and superconductivity? Okay, so, in, uh, well, as Nathaniel said before, uh, basically, uh, charge density wave was proposed that can emerge from the electron phono interaction, but there is another proposal, maybe for this uh, paper we can see here. This is basically that charge density wave emerge from the electron-electron interaction, right? So you can see in these two papers here, so you know, uh, here this Hamiltonian, this a two-band Hamiltonian. We have a here a flat band. This is a more localized band. This is the hybridization theory, and this is this one side 
on-site Coulomb repulsion. This is uh, uh, it's best. The charge density wave emerge from this term here, okay? From a, in a mean field form against the coupling. The same for this, uh, this result here. Important point here that I must say is uh, they study the charge density wave, but they don't consider uh, superconductivity. So we want to generalize this, this, this Hamiltonian, right? That we do uh, now here. Well, this is, uh, okay, this is my, uh, our Hamiltonian. So let me uh, tell you briefly about each term. So this is the flat band as in the previous work. This is a more localized band for us, okay? This is the, the, the shift energy of the D band. So if for us, this can produce maybe this chemical substitution that measured by experimentalists. This is the chemical potential in standard way. Uh, the hybridization between, this is a correlation between uh, bands, okay, C and D bands. So for us, this can maybe reproduce the pressure measured by uh, experimentalists. This is the term that uh, from where emerge in the Sharon City wave, okay? And this is the, the term where superconducting uh, order parameter appears. Okay. Well, well, uh, okay, we need to, okay, now, a little bit more uh, details about, about the calculation, sorry for the experimentalist, okay, but I need to show a little bit more uh, about this. So this is the, the charge density wave uh, relations because uh, maybe this is the, uh, the charge density wave order parameter, okay, for, for C van and D van. This is the modulation of the Q vector. This is the equation, the correlation function for this uh, order parameter. I remind you the Q is in, in two, we are in, in a square lattice, okay? So we have this component X and Y here. We are not considering a magnetic uh, solution, and this is the superconducting order parameter in a uh, standard way, okay? Well, a little bit more count, sorry again. Uh, this is a mean field Hamiltonian matrix, okay? This matrix contains all the parameters of our model, so uh, this is very hard to try to, to diagonalize analytically, so for that we use uh, sounds numerical uh, 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 powerful. Okay, so uh, just a little bit more about this. So making a, a book with the transformation of the genes, we are going to, to, to have the uh, eigenvalue value of this, uh, this model. Okay, this is calculated numerically. And the parameters of the, the, parameters of the model can be uh, calculated from these equations that we uh, resolve self-consistently. Okay? Well, uh, it's good to emphasize that we consider both incommensurate and commensurate charge density wave uh, just for uh, considering this, uh, this Q is at least uh, each number, okay? Each number, so from the condition here, we are going to, to, to obtain maybe if a commensurate, so it's pi pi for us, it's a square lattice, or a, a no pi pi. See, another, num another components that are not uh, pi pi. Okay, so let me, I think it's the time. I'm going to show you now the results. Okay, this is the first results published in, the, in this paper. Uh, just uh, let me sh uh, first take a look. This, uh, this is a, a experimental data. This is a phase diagram. You can see this for this compound, lantanum platinum 2 silicon 2. We have in this phase diagram temperature as a function of hydrostatic pressure. Okay, so we can see that as uh, pressure increase, uh, the CD double transition temperature uh, decrease almost monotonically. In, and around some point here, maybe two times, two point something, okay, it suddenly goes to zero. This indicating this is a, a first order phase transition, right? Which more work can learn from this phase diagram? Well, this, in this region, maybe for, for, for the starting of the pressure, we can maybe uh, see here a coexistence between this charge city wave order in, and superconductivity, right? But, and if the pressure uh, increase even more, we can see from this phase diagram, uh, experimental phase diagram, that uh, superconducting phase, uh, only superconducting phase survives, right? 
So take a look uh, our result. Okay, this is a qualitative compare, right? So uh, from our result, you, I, can, I, can, I can tell you about this phase diagram. We have temperature uh, as a function of hybridization. As I said before, hybridization for us can reproduce the hydrostatic pressure, okay? The correlation between orbitals, between bands, sorry. Uh, and then we have in this result, at least for this uh, band filling, that we have a uh, chart density weight. This is commensurate, okay? And this solid line is for us a second order phase transition, but as the hybridization increase, we have a first order phase transition, that this is dashed line here, okay? Which more we can see in this, uh, in this figure, in this uh, phase diagram. So this region, this region uh, for us is the coexistence between superconductivity and charge density wave, commensurate charge density wave. And also, if we increase even more the, uh, the, uh, the hybridization, we get that only superconducting phase survives. Okay, so at least we have a little bit qualitative result. This is a, a, a quite similar, but it's just, just that, okay? At least for these parameters, obviously. Okay, well, this is about the commensuration. What about the incommensuration? The question that now we want to answer is the following. Is this stable solution a mixing phase for superconductivity and incommensurate uh, charge density wave? Well, for answer this question, we, can, uh, we, we, we did this uh, free energy analysis. So uh, we can see in this first density plot here, okay, we, the solution, the most stable solution you can see here is around 1, 1. What does it mean 1, 1 here? Huh? If you see here, these Qx and Qy are renormalized by pi. So 1, 1 means that this uh, modulate, uh, the uh, modulation, uh, the wave vector modulation is pi pi, right? So this indicates for us the, the most stable solution is commensurate charge density wave, right? Uh, we can confirm this result from this panel here. This is basically the, the figure. Uh, the, the intensity of this uh, charge density wave order parameter, okay, this is very robust, around 1, 1 also. And from the, the analysis of the superconducting order parameter, we can see this is almost, almost zero. So we can conclude for this first analysis that the most stable uh, uh, phase, at least for this temperature that we consider here, is a, a commensurate charge density wave. Okay, uh, right, thank you. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit more fast. Uh, okay, if we low the temperature, for instance, for this temperature, we have a surprise. What's the snow here? Well, from our, from our analysis, we can see that the most stable solution is no more in one one like here, right? Is in something like maybe here at this point, you can see that QX is one, okay, maybe commensurate, but the other uh, x, so q, y, is no more in one, so it's one point something here. And this is symmetric around this point. So this for us characterizes an incommensurate charge density wave. We can confirm this, uh, this, uh, this result making uh, this, this analysis here. This is the, 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 the charge density wave uh, order parameter, and you can see this very robust around these points. And for the uh, superconducting order parameter, always is zero. So from this second line, we can conclude the, the most stable solution, at least for our model, is an incommensurate charge density wave, okay? If we low more the temperature, almost this temperature, it's almost zero maybe, so we can find this, uh, the same result like here, so we can also, uh, again, charge density wave, incommensurate charge density wave from the both analysis. But surprisingly, we have a, a superconducting uh, order parameter here. This is not zero, okay? So we can see from this uh, line, our conclusion from this line is that we have, uh, in the, at least for this temperature, a coexistence between charge density wave, uncommensurate charge density wave, and superconductivity. What we can, what we can do with this result? Almost, well, it's very far. Well, I'm going to just show this, maybe this one. Uh, we can get this phase diagram. This is, for instance, uh, is the temperature against the band filling. 
So we, with this uh, free energy analysis, we get these uh, different phases here. So you have, uh, this is charge density weight commensurate. This is a coexistence with this one and superconductivity. This is superconductivity and this is the uh, coexistence between incommensurate charge density weight and uh, superconductivity. Uh, you can see from this, uh, this theoretical uh, result that this is another model just is uh, a square lattice like us, but it's another model. And even it's another kind of uh, interaction for the appearance, the charge density wave. This is the electron phonon interaction is taking account uh, here in this result. Okay, but uh, at least qualitatively, our results are very similar. Just one point I have to, 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 to pay attention here. That's this, this, in this uh, result, this is for a one band, we have a two band, they are not going to get a coexistence between bands, between, sorry, between phases, but we already did. Well, just let me skip this last, uh, sorry. Okay, this, uh, that last, sorry, uh, result, just let me take about our conclusion. So from the free energy density analysis, we found that depending on the parameters, incommensurate charge to wave, emerge for low temperature and even can coexist with superconductivity, okay? Also, another uh, conclusion, away from the half feeling, we obtain a qualitative agreement with reported results for a compound that exceeds a discontinu discontinuous uh, vanishing of the charge density wave. I mean, a first order space transition. And also, we all obtain that the free, uh, as the uh, shift energy of the D electrons increase, the charge density wave orders I mean, it vanishes and only the superconductivity survives, like can be reported experimentally. So, thank you for your attention. So, thank you, Daniel, for this nice talk. So, questions? Hi, thank you very much. I have a question about your result. You have a coexistence of charge density wave and superconductivity, and then coexistence between charge density wave incommensurate and superconductivity. So I understood that this second one, you have both order parameters at the same time. In the first case, perhaps you said, but sort of I didn't understand. Do you have coexistence also of the same, the same kind or you have sort of phase separation? No, no it's just coexistence. Is the coexistence yes, of both from, order uh, parameters? Yes, from the free energy, free energy analysis that we get, I, I, I uh -huh. show you, we okay. can get a coexistence between, uh, between and, uh, both phases. And, and another related thing, how I should interpret this uh, uncommensurate charge density wave, that, which has two Q vectors? Is a bimodal? I mean, like a chessboard? That's right. So it's really different from the other one, from the other charge density wave, is it? There are different, right. See, there are, but, but to be honest, we are not uh, to be this, uh, this analysis of this different. You, you are saying, let me see if uh, I understand very well. You are talking about the difference between uh, the component in, a, in X and the component in yes, Y. Yes. No, not yet, sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, thanks. But good, good, good point to analyze. Just to clarify, I may have missed in your explanation, the, the, what you call the pair interaction, is, it seems to be like a spin-spin interaction. Is that correct? Or, or am I missing None. here? It's well, charge, charge. It, in the model, was it yeah, in the said, model, I, 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 it was you know had a lot no, of terms it, and I, I couldn't not read all of them. Just let me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Seeing the batteries ending. Uh, just let, okay. Sorry. Here. Oh, okay. So like a Hubbard type. Uh -huh. And and it's J, your J is negative, so it's like a negative U Hubbard. For, 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 yes. Okay, so, okay. 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 All right. Okay. For the questions? So, I just have one quick question. So, this incommensurate superconductivity, it's like an FFLO state or something else? Something like this? This, this incommensurate superconductivity, mm. yeah, it's like an FFLO state or something else? Local now. Mm. I don't know, sorry. Yes. No problem. Okay. So, if you do not have any further questions, let's, let's think then. Just the oh. one, right? Okay. Sure. How do you treat the U terms? Is it a mean field level or a? Yes, it's a mean yeah. field level. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, and what's the value of, compared to the bandwidth you have of this use? This is a good point because, at, yes, <laughs> always. But Everybody has a bit asked. But yeah, no, no, no. But it's, it's a good question because it's always, this is the, the, the this question is, is always uh, make. So, uh, people say, but, uh, so, okay, you, you get uh, at least a qualitative uh, res uh, result with uh, experimental data, right? Yeah. Okay, but, so, the kind I can say, this is a mean field, right? This is a mean field. Maybe I improve in field. Uh, uh, this, uh, that we can say that, obviously, these, these, uh, these uh, results, this phase diagram, can be get for this parameter here. So the point is, the point that we are discussing with the collaborator is how we can introduce more, uh, how can I say, experimental, uh, experimental um, points, you know, to try to get a little bit more closer to the experimental data of uh, uh, this uh, phase diagram, for instance. Yeah. Because this result, I agree with that, is, is just maybe, could be, I don't know, artifact of this uh, or, uh, parameter here, who no. knows? Okay, okay, I agree, I agree, okay? But uh, the, the, the interesting is that is we can be at least qualitatively a similar result, even for this, 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 this part, these faces here, because uh, the, I think you, you asked me, right? These, uh, these, fa these faces, we get these faces from a free energy analysis, so for us, this is the region we have a phase uh, coexisting with these phases here for this uh, very low temperature. So this is our result, like experimental. Mm -hmm. So the point is how we can compare exactly. This is open. This is uh, uh, still an open question for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thanks. So let's thank Daniel again. Okay. And so now have a coffee break.